What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new Unranked Diamond episode. Today we're going to play some Caitlyn, unfortunately with a Janna. I don't know why this keeps happening to me, like, uh, <laughs> it's not cool, it's not cool. But yeah, so we're going to play some, uh, some Caitlyn today. Um, I might actually start playing some more mid. So I don't know, but I kind of, like, the way AD carry, actually maybe I'll explain this as I get into it, because I like, need to ask everybody, yeah. Let's do that. Let's just talk about the matchups and stuff for now. So, um, Caitlyn into vein. Oh my god. I woke up like 20 minutes ago. Had a quick, nice, like, wash my face. And I'm still tired as mad man. But anyway. So, Caitlyn Janet into Karma and Vayne. I'm um, actually not too bad, but like, Karma's very poke heavy. Janet's a bit more defensive. I picked Kate kind of because I can just sit back and auto with really high range. I don't even really need her to play, thankfully. <laughs> like, I don't really need her to do anything. In this lane, I can kind of like look after myself in a way, I guess. That's the idea, anyway. Um, it's like if you pick short range, you kind of need your support a bit more. High range, you should be able to at least do something, I feel like. Uh, then we also have who do we have? Shivana in the jungle versus Lee Sin. So Shivana scales really, really well. Shivana's actually really good after a couple of items into the game, but before that, she kind of sucks. So Lee should out pressure early, but then Shivana should like go later, I guess. I actually personally prefer, by the way, Shivana with Strength the Ages, not further. Just kind of personal preference, I guess, but I actually prefer that. Much prefer that. Um, Yasuo, I think. I, I don't know, but like, I feel like Poppy's area effect thing, like this guy was saying in Champion State, you know, the area thing where she pops up with a W, um, that will stop Yasuo dashing, right? Surely. So that's like a hard counter that he picked into. I don't know. Maybe it's not, but I feel like that might give him a bit of an advantage, but he is uh, probably a one-trick Yasuo player, I assume, if he just picked it anyway. Ari and uh, Swain. I don't really know how that's going to go, but Swain is TP, which is nice. We have double TP. They only have one. That's cool, at least. Swain will scale very well, but Ari it probably has the advantage early. I'd come much here Ignite. Wow, okay. <gasps> Deathfire Touch. I have Deathfire Touch on Caitlyn. That feels bad, man. Welcome to everybody else. We're playing some AD carry today, and apparently I forgot to change my masteries because I'm playing Death by a Touch Caitlyn. Let's see if this works, shall we? Let's see if this works. I actually lost to one of these the other day because she still did what Caitlyn does normally anyway and just auto me to death. So <laughs> I guess we're going to do that. Thankfully, they only have Poppy as a tank. They're not really like a super tank, you know? So, de like, uh, Death by a Touch isn't terrible. My Qs will do more damage, which is nice, I guess. But yeah, that's not particularly a good thing. Anyway, one thing I'm doing maybe on the channel a bit more is playing a bit more mid. I don't know, but I kind of feel like ADs in a pretty rough spot at the moment in this season. Uh, you have some really good ADs like Jinx and Jin and I guess uh, Misfortune as well. But um, the problem is if you don't play those top tier, you can't, like, the reason they're top tier is because they hard carry a game, right? Like, you, if you get a lead with any of those three, or you come out of lane even, you have enough damage to still be able to carry the game. The problem with every other AD, basically, at the moment, is that, yes, okay, if you get very fed, you can carry. If you don't get very fed, then you're not really going to be able to, to carry, likely, because people around the map are just a little bit more fed, or they're going to affect the lanes a bit more. So I'm thinking of kind of want to, like push with mid as well as AD. I don't know necessarily. I'm still probably going to play mainly AD, but I think I might play more, some more mid lane. Not really too sure. What do you guys think? Let me know. This is going to kind of suck because my autos are definitely not as good anymore. Um, what are you doing, Janna? <laughs> she moved to go and give a leash, but obviously there's nobody there. So... Uh, this is welcome to the Caitlyn and the Karma show. These are guys, what these guys do push endlessly. She'll just queue the minions to give uh, Vayne a bit of an advantage. And yeah, Death Fight Touch is going to suck, but it's probably not going to be the end of the world. Fervor's really, really good in lane. But it's like one of those things that maybe I can just play around it. Probably won't be able to, you know, do quite as much with everything in the lane phase, but at least like my key will be able to do a bit more. It's not completely useless. I did, I did this on uh, Draven before and it was uh, completely useless because his nothing applies it, like except his ultimate. And it's like one ability, long range ability as well. And that's the only thing that applied it. I'm just gonna zone, move forward and zone here. I 
Like, I don't mind. I don't really want to punish Vayne too much unless I'm actually going to go for, like, some serious punishment because she has Warlords. It's one of those deterrent things where it's, like, it's not really worth me doing it that much. Like, if I do it, she's just going to heal anyway, right? So I might as well put the pain onto Karma a little bit. Poke her down. She's obviously easier. It was easier in that situation to go for her anyway. And we'll probably not play too aggressive in the lane phase because that kind of thing is where I would have just, like, gone absolutely nuts because it's, like... I have further second on the calm, right? Then I can swap to Vayne and I'll still do more damage. But because I don't have further, feels bad. But yeah, further is one of those things on my stream at the moment. Everybody is like, you're obsessed with further. And it's just because further is so strong. Like, further is so good. It's so good. It just does so much damage. And in an extended trade like that, like you stack it up, and all of a sudden you're just like absolutely beasting people. It's amazing. I just, I have a real hard on for like, uh, for fervor right now, I don't know why. It's one of those things where like, the more I play, I haven't played like a ton of League this season, right? This is why, um, yeah, the start of this like, series is a bit rusty and stuff like that. Like it was hard playing and talking at the same time. Um, now I'm getting a bit more, I could, you know, I could just ramble all day and it'd be fine, but. Yeah, this is what I was kind of thought was going to happen. Lee Sim will pressure early. Shivana will pressure a bit later. So we just have to hold on really, I guess, more than anything right now. But yeah, so um, it's one of those things where I didn't really play too much in the early season. But the more I play now and the more I trade bot lane and just realize, like, push my limits, I guess. Further lets you push your limits so much better than any other keystone. Because you just keep going and keep going. And the further damage really stacks up. Especially if you have further and they don't. It's insane. It's an insane advantage to have. So, I don't really know what I want to max this lane, though. That's the problem. Because it's Keystone now, I don't really know what I want to max. I'm happy going uh, full crit, like three crit items, because why not, right? Oh, my God. Here we go. Okay. I'm happy going three crit items. Doesn't really... That doesn't change anything, at least. But, um, I don't know what I want to max, because I could max my Q, and that would be lovely and everything. I could, I'm just going to ping him because I think Lee's probably there. Uh, I could max my Q, which would be a bit more poke with the uh, the death fire. <laughs> or I could just ignore the death fire and be like, that's fine, whatever, we'll max our traps anyway. Maxing traps probably would be decent. I don't need the wave clear against Vayne, right? One of the reasons you max your Q is for the wave clear, and like Vayne's wave clear is pants, so I'm not exactly ever struggling to push her in. Like, I'm just pushing her in with autos, you know? I'm not even making a special effort at the moment to push this in. Whoops, missed the Vayne there. I'm not even making a special effort to push her in or anything. I'm just autoing and it's going towards her tower. I should probably freeze it a bit more. But because I don't have further, I don't think I can really contest the wave that much. So what I'm trying to do is just farm. I know it's not really the, the how you play this lane normally. Like, you definitely don't play this lane so passively normally. But it's one of those things where I think I just kind of have to because of how I messed up my, my keystone. I don't think I'm necessarily going to win all in fights. So... There's not much point doing it that way. Karma is like completely out of mana now. Whoa, that didn't hit, really? Karma's completely out of mana, so she actually is not really able to contribute anything to the thing anymore. See how far Janna back is, though? That is a mistake. She's like literally just standing right behind me. Um, and yeah, that's, that's not a good thing. But you also see how I'm playing. It's very defensive. I'm not going too aggressive or anything because Janet is so far behind me. If she if she walks up with me and she like does what Karma's doing now, look at Karma, she's ahead of the vein, trying to pressure me. Um if if she did that, I'd go aggressive, but you know, I'm not gonna Oh bollocks. I'm not gonna do it myself. I don't think that's a good idea. Shivana really wants to see this. This is risky, though. Especially because it's infernal. Like, I don't feel like this is a good idea. But, apparently, he wants to do it anyway. This is not a good idea, my friend. Yo, Swain, come here, Swain. 
He should be dead though, maybe. Oh, Cheshire went in. Yo, what are you doing? I have heal for this guy, so I think I can bait him in here. I don't know. What is going on? Why not just stop the dragon? You're taking up my damage. That was so dumb. We just lost a dragon for free there. I knew that was going to happen as well. I don't know why we started that. I said that at the very start. That was stupid. That was so dumb. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, when Karma, like, ran out there, um, if... If Karma ran out like that, Shivana shouldn't have chased. Like, that was... We could have turned and got the, the dragon for free. So, that play would have been okay-ish. Very risky still, but we still would have actually come out on top of it. But because um, she actually dived after the Karma, uh, then... Yeah. Yeah, that was dumb. Because Infernal Drake is worth a lot, so I don't know why we risked that much for it. But, who cares? Never mind, it's only one Drake, right? Not like it's the most the important Drake in the game. <laughs> yeah. So let's get uh, some traps here in case I get ganked. I know the vein was mid for a while, so she's going to miss all of this CS, which is probably a mistake actually going mid. I just wanted to punish her for it for a little bit, which is good. Get some good tower pressure as well. I can hopefully make her miss stuff here. Karma's very aggressive, which is which is good for Karma. Um, not good for us. Not really good for us, but... Oh, damn, man. That's not even... At least my death fire is kind of doing something here. You know, it's kind of doing stuff, but... Might be able to get this as well. Okay, no, let's flash. Nice, that was good. Good job, Shivana. The dragon play like that is not really going to lose us the game, I don't think. Uh, we might get the tower as well, which is this is a big power play. This is a good, this is a good play here. I don't have like anything here, but going enough to hit tower, I think. So nice, nice first blood tower. That's good. So. We've, we made a massive mistake with the dragon, but we have recovered it a little bit, which is good. Damn, man. That's... Oh, if I could sneak up here and use my ult on Ari. Do you reckon she's stupid enough to stay? No way she's dumb enough to stay against Caitlyn, surely, right? Oh, she just leveled up, though. She did just level up, though. All I need is, like, one auto attack. No, ha 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 dumbass. Why would you say? Oh, nice. Jasper played that so well. He got out of that big time. Nice, perfect. So we need to. Go I need to get my bot lane ready. I don't think I even need to flash there. Honestly, she wasn't paying attention. But the, the reflash was a spec thing. It was like. Um... Okay. Well, yes, I tried to dive. I guess that's typical. Yes, right there, but. Um, the flash was a respect thing. It was like, if she reacts and flashes away from me, obviously I lose vision again. So that's why I did that, to flash in. But, considering she wasn't paying attention, I definitely did not need to do it. Just, uh, you know, that that's a play I would make at higher ranks where I expect her to, to look and dodge. And also to notice, by the way, that I am missing bot lane and I could be roaming. Because I just randomly vanished that bot, right? I missed all of those. I just randomly... Went missing, like... She really should have noticed that, but I guess not. I'm actually my Q and W evenly here, by the way, because I don't really need either of them massively. Oops, that was a bad Q there. I don't really need either of them very much, so I'm just maxing them both. It's something weird that I wouldn't really recommend doing on a lot of champions, but Kaden, I think you can kind of get away with it, because it's like... I don't need the Q poke, really. Um, I don't need the traps desperately either. So if I just have a mix of both where my Q hurts and my trap hurts, then I think that's pretty decent to have at least. Oh man, this guy's getting major, major camped. Oh, that flash though. Don't dive, you dumbass. This Shivana is way too aggressive. Oh, okay. Well, we got one for one. Whoa. 
one for two, but that was way too aggressive. <laughs> Shivana's like playing, I don't know, like a Zack would, for example, right? She's diving in when she thinks she's really tanky and will just survive, but because she's a Shivana and has no de defensive stats yet, she's just insta dying, like insta dying. Oh man, that's not good though. Okay, let's go mid. This Yasuo is being a typical top lane Yasuo player, that is for sure. That is for sure. Unlucky, unlucky lads. This is what a diamond Yasuo player looks like. Yeah, they know I'm here though. Here comes the, uh, I can't do anything meme. Oh, Janna, mate, what are you doing? Oh, missing everything apparently. We don't really have anything here, so I don't think it's a good idea. Whoa, where'd all that damage come from, though? Holy moly. Oh, pop me. I have heal, though, still. Where did all that damage come from, Lee Sin? He's only got a warrior. It's really hard to inset the Kate though, because she'll just net immediately as you come back, so... No, you don't really get... Wow. I can't go anywhere else right now, because Shivana just took my wave that I was building up. So, yeah, she, I know Swain needs, like, experience and whatever else, but if she takes my wave, I've got nothing to... Holy crap, okay, then. I think, really, Shivana should probably stop doing the dragon at this point, but okay. I don't know why we're playing PvE. We're literally uh, fighting dragons when people are fighting right next to each other. Fuck the dragon. Get the kills and dragon afterwards. That's how the game works. The Muppets. Oh, this guy's dead as well. Get a kill on Vayne though. Nice. That's a shutdown at least, which is good. I am 20 CS up, which is nice. But. Uh, the game is spiraling massively out of control right now, so... Oh my god, okay. That would... Oh, I, I guess I have to ward. I guess I have to ward now. Alright, so let's pick up a pink ward. The reason this is happening is because of vision. Because I can't see Lee Sin ever. I can't see where Lee Sin is. So because I can't see where he is, he just pops out of stealth and just insta-pops you, right? He's really fed at the moment. And Ari, pretty sure Ari flashed the wall to Charmy as well. But that that's happening because of lack of vision. Like, there's no wards on the map. So if I put some more down myself, I can protect myself that way. I don't think it's really my job right now to be warding the side lanes and my jungle and stuff. But if it's going to continue to happen, that's like twice now in a row that I've died to Lee Sin just randomly popping out. I definitely need to ward and like cover my tracks and stuff. So that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to get some vision down. We're going to farm as much as we can, but vision is going to be important this game. Really important. So if you die ever like this a couple of times, like... Uh, yeah, your team should be rewarding and stuff. As an AD, it's not really your job to get the vision control down, but it's still, you know... Um, yeah, I think it's fair to say it's not your job, but it's the same thing of, like... You have to do it if your team is not, right? Why in the world? That was a terrible general. That was so late. Why are we fighting, though? We're behind. I don't get it. We're massively behind this game. Oh, I'm dead. Fantastic. Oh, no, I'm not dead. Not yet. She, he might piggyback off of this and go for me, I don't know. I 
I got a trap on her though. Can I kill her? No? Really? Okay. She's just too tanky for now, I think. I don't really do enough damage yet either. Further would have helped there. Further would have helped there. Oh, and Vayne's taking my tower. Lovely. <laughs> oh, probably was not the best fan she's ever had there. I even, like, with all of her shields and stuff, there's no way I can even do anything. I got baited by that. Baited so hard. Yo, Shivana, I can't really engage, can I, my friend? I thought you might do that. Okay, you flashed on me. We actually got two shutdowns there for one, so that is definitely worth, but... That's definitely worth it. Okay, so we're playing catch up this game big time. I still need to put the vision down. I haven't had a chance yet because we've been under the tower. But, oh man. Frontline Janna. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. He's just going to get charmed in the face. This... He is not having a good game, is he? He is not having a good game. Oh man, this is going to be hard. This is going to be really hard. Uh, this is kind of what I meant, by the way, with... This is why I wanted to play more mid lane or um, stuff like that where, you know, I'm able to do more in the game. Because this, this game is really one of those things where, like, I haven't really had a chance to do anything at the moment. Um, and, yeah. I want to use my net and stuff. Obviously not yet. Ari's really low there. Okay, well that's Vayne's heal down right now. At least. Can we get that though? Fervor would be nice right now. Fervor would be lovely right now. Come on, Yasuo. Nice, there we go. We're mopping out now. We're doing better. We're doing better. Nice, nice, good job, good job. This is what I was saying, if we don't get picked off, we should be good. But we just need to, like, take smart fights. Right there, the reason we won that is because Ari was low health. Um, and she had no ultimate. That's why I focused her in the first fit place, because she can't kill me, basically. She's a weak one, which is nice. That, that was a good swing, that was a good swing for us. That was a good swing, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm talking about but yeah this is the kind of game where I'm like you know I'd rather be playing mid lane you know I feel like I can impact the lane like lanes more I can do a bit more around the map and stuff like that I can be the one at the front like doing proactively rather than like I think AD right now a lot of AD is very I didn't even get my thingy last time really a lot of AD at the moment is kind of reactive so like for example if Shivana doesn't dive in I can't really frontline it right I can't really engage and make the good decisions that way whereas with a mid laner I can do it a bit more like I can poke and I can step forward and stuff like that so this is why I think just at the moment in this season unless you're playing the top three ADs there's it's quite difficult I think to have a very high impact in the game oh we actually lose this fight so we need to leave Kind of why. Well, she just suicided one for one. That's not too bad, actually. But we definitely shouldn't have fought this after. We're still really far behind, so. I shouldn't really be left alone, and Janet just insta died as well. If Vayne dives the back line for me, she should die, which she did do. But really, she should die without me dying. Like, I shouldn't die in that situation, I don't think. I should have my net. In the future, I have my flash and summoners and stuff. But, um... Yeah. I mean, uh, Janna should stay at the back. Like, she's playing very badly at the moment. She's she's playing like a Brawnwood, for example, rather than playing like a Janna. Which is unfortunate. But, I mean, she can, she can always be useful, right? She could always turn it around this game. Easy. Easy peasy. It's not It's not hard to turn uh, a game around as a Janna player. You mess up all game as long as you do one good thing. Oh, fuck's sake. That was pretty obvious. I should have known that was coming, I think. Let me have it. Thank you. Red buff. T-Y, T-Y, T-Y. 
Haha, <laughs> it's double flashes down. Oh, we went over. Nice, okay. Actually, no, it's not good, is it? Clever, but probably not a good thing. <laughs> okay, so let's get our trap max now. Really, I want to like start sieging. This is kind of where Kane's strength is, right? The strength is, sorry, from sieging, but um, I can't really do it right now because we're quite far behind. Too, that's too easy, man. That's too easy. Walking even slightly forward towards the Ari and getting her to, dude, 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 what are you doing? Why would you do that, my friend? Why would you do that, my friend? Do you have TP? He does have TP. I was going to go and get that, but if he has TP, then there's no point, right? Because I think they're going to go and do Baron anyway. We can't stop this, actually, because uh, Siobhan decided to suicide. Unlucky. Unfortunate. So she's actually doing some really good stuff, but really bad stuff at the same time. Um, basically the same as my entire team. These guys have made really good plays, but they also made really dire ones. Yo, why are you TPing for that? It's gone. It's gone. You're just going to suicide. You're just 1v5. You have no Zonyas. Why? Why are you going in? What? Why? It's already gone, dudes. That was so weird. Platt is a real elo hell, boys. Platt is a real elo hell. I don't know where I have to go right now. This is a risk we're running though, because she could pin me if she wanted to. She's also got so much armor at this point though. It's almost impossible to deal with her, because she got so fed. But eventually I'll get some more armor and stuff and it'll be fine. I just have to make sure I'm not ever near a... Uh... So I'm not ever near. The walls, I should be okay. Like the tower and stuff, should be fine. Why would you do that, man? Why would you do that? This is what I mean. Vayne's playing way too risky for no reason as well. She she doesn't have any reason to go that ham. Like she doesn't get anything out of this. Lee Sin's on my right, by the way. I don't want to go near that. Karma's playing so well though. Stop pushing, please. Holy moly, please don't push anymore. What are they doing? Just leave. Base, friends, heal. Heal. <laughs> Damn. This is going to be a tough game. It's one of those games where it goes late enough I can maybe carry though. I don't know. Fervor's going to make a big difference when I'm trying to kill Poppy and stuff, but. Once I get Last Whisper, it should be okay. Maybe I can't actually afford to go triple crit this game, you know. Maybe I need Last Whisper right now. I haven't even placed this pink yet. I've had no chance to place it, you know. I've just had no chance. Like, ever since that that actually happened, that, like, really bad fights and stuff, and where I got caught a couple of times, the first time in the game, I haven't actually been caught since. So, it's not like Vision is hurting me like that at the moment, really. More than, more than number one, anyway. I mean, Ari's not here. This will be a good fight, but we just... You know, don't have any engage, so. Dude, you can't 1v1 Ari. You have no MR either. He's probably going to go on this. So, just being aware of that. What he can do, though, is taxi on someone else and then, like, go in. He actually had to flash out there because he stepped on a trap and got absolutely wrecked. But again, Swain is dead because he doesn't have a Zonyas, man. The whole point of picking Swain is getting a Zonyas. Yeah, see, that's why it's really hard to insect her, Caitlyn. Because she can just do that and run away. Oh, damn, dude. Okay. Enemy 
It's like the whole point of playing Swain is you get a Zonyas and then you sit in the middle of a fight and you just wreck people. Like, I don't understand why you don't buy a Zonyas in this situation. Like, you, you... So, the whole point of Swain being so broken is that all he has to do is sit there. Um, he has to sit there and just, like, press Zonyas and in a fight he's going to heal back up. And it's really simple. So, I don't really get it. Like, that's, that's kind of the whole point of playing Sway there. I, f I feel like that's the whole point of playing Sway. Maybe I'm wrong. I have no idea. But, yeah. Uh, it's really odd. Really odd. But we're still in the game. Like, we're still doing okay. Ari is really fed and playing... Uh, well, I mean, every person on my team is probably playing better than their counterparts. Maybe me and Vayne are basically even. She's made some dumb plays, but she's very fed as well. Oh my god, that damage. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, she's Black Cleaver. Holy crap, man. Holy crap. Okay, that's my bad. Feels bad. Once... I didn't realize the Poppy was that strong, honestly. Otherwise, I would have netted very at the very start. But I tried to bait her in because I thought, she's alone. If I can get her in, it'll be a lot... It would actually be a good thing, right? I mean, obviously it wasn't, but that's my my thought process anyway. Was it would be a good thing. I think everybody's going to be here now, so I don't think they should really chase that. Just wait for me to get back up. They didn't lose anything for me dying, which is good. But yeah, she has a black cleaver, which I did not realize. That is way more damage than I expected to take. That's, that was my bad. Um, I can pick up a... I've just got, like, disjointed build at the moment. Because I have to pick up, like, individual stuff that I need. I need some life steal. I need, um, yeah, no, like, I need everything right now. And it's it's hard for me to pick up everything that I actually need. This is gonna go, but we can defend towers, maybe. We're definitely not strong enough yet. But we might be able to be strong enough in future, I don't know. I'm just gonna trap out. That was a bad trap, though. Oh my god. Why would you even get Pro Belt on the thing? I have no idea. Not a good idea going on that, though. See, look how ham she is, man. It's crazy. But because her team's really far ahead, she can get away with that, which is, which is a good thing, I guess, for them. And Poppy's so fed. She absorbs so much of my time and energy, like, trying to kill her. Which obviously doesn't work either, by the way. Alright, that's fine. Well, I mean, we're still very close to these fights, so if I get more items... If I ever get to full build, then I think I can carry this game. And if... Swain never gets his onions. I think, again, he can probably carry the game with me. So, I'm still not going to give up. It looks rough, but... We lose a flat-out fight, though. This is the problem. We lose, a, we lose a fight, like, 100%. It takes way too long. Even under towers. Like, I have the protection of a tower, so Ari can't die of my backline and kill me. And I'm still almost dying because it's just that hard of a game. So, yeah. And this is definitely not going to be an easy one to, to pull off. What is going on here? <laughs> this is basically the epitome of what I think of. When, when I see top lane Yasuo's, this is basically what I think of, you know. Kill her, kill her, kill her, kill her, kill her. She's on her own, she's on her own, she's on her own. Feels bad, man. She might have stolen that, I think. Oh, unlucky. Almost, almost, almost. 
Almost. Well, I I don't know what to say honestly. I don't know what to say. We made some very stupid choices early. Really stupid choices early. Um, the the spiraled the game, but. Like, yeah, Vayne is not an issue this game at all. It's the Poppy being so fed, the Lee Sin, the Ari, like those guys, those are the fed ones. Like, those are the ones that really carried this game, not the Vayne. I mean, Shivana's problem is with the Vayne, but Shivana, like, Vayne just can't counter Shivana anyway, so like, Vayne is a really good pick in Shivana. But yeah, um, that's just one of those games where I see like my damage is terrible. I probably spent loads of time attacking, but um, it was like just I couldn't get through the poppy. I just could not get through that poppy at all. Really, really, really hard to get through that guy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. My my like luck so far has been absolutely awful, absolutely awful. Um, I, I don't know what to say, honestly, but uh, I'm going to try and play different roles and stuff, mix it up a bit more. Because the, the thing is, if I don't hard carry these games, then we lose. That's the problem at the moment. Um, and it's like, you know, I have to have a really good performance. I have to, like, win my lane. And it, it's difficult to win a lane with a Janna, so that's why I'm kind of leaning away from bot lane. Because it's a two-person lane, right? If the support is bad, then it, or if, like, passive or whatever, it's very hard to win as an AD, like, win your lane 1v2. So that's why I'm kind of leaning away from AD if I really want to hard carry these games. I just don't feel like, unless I play Jin, Jinx, or Misfortune, I don't think that other ADs have the ability to just 1v5 um, unless they like win their lane really hard. Like Jinx can come back late game and just carry super hard. Jin can uh, set up loads of stuff and do damage from range. Misfortune's ultimate from range as well. So these guys don't have to win lane to be very effective, the others do. And that's kind of why I'm leaning towards, you know, playing other stuff, I guess, hopefully. But anyway, we'll see what I end up doing. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's episode.